Hello and welcome to World Trip Asia. My name is Kylie and in this video, learn some of the amazing facts about the countries within the popular continent of Asia. Ready, jet set, go! <laughs> In order to make it easier to talk about the countries of the world, it had to be divided into seven geographic regions called continents. The seven continents of the world are North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. In this video, we'll focus on Asia. Be sure to watch our other videos to learn about the other six continents. Asia is the most populated continent in the world with over four and a half billion people living in it. Yes, billion. It is also the largest continent in the world. Asia is located mostly in the northern and eastern hemispheres and it is surrounded by the Arctic Ocean to the north, the Pacific Ocean to the east, and the Indian Ocean to the south. The Suez Canal separates Asia from Africa and the Mediterranean Sea, and the Black Sea separates it from Europe. There are hundreds of languages spoken in Asia. India alone has 30 official languages. It's pretty neat. The most common languages spoken in Asia are English, Arabic, and Mandarin Chinese. Russia, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Turkey are transcontinental countries, which means they are part of more than one continent. In this case, they are both in Europe and Asia. Egypt is also a transcontinental country found in both the northeast corner of Africa and the southwest corner of Asia, also known as the Middle East. Asia is home to some amazing animals, including the panda, my favorite, cobra, macaque, the camel, and the tiger. There are 48 countries in Asia and five major regions. So we have Southeast Asia, East Asia, South Asia, Southwest Asia, which is commonly referred to as the Middle East, and Central Asia. Let's break down each region. Southeast Asia has a very wet climate with a monsoon season, or the season with rain for many, many months, typically between May and September. Imagine that. Oh. This part of Asia is covered in rainforests. Also, the equator runs through Southeast Asia. The equator is an imaginary line around the Earth, splitting the Earth into the northern and southern hemisphere. Near the equator, the temperature is a lot hotter and more humid than other parts of the Earth, making it feel like summer all year round. You can find these countries in this region. Brunei, Cambodia, where we can find the largest known temple on Earth. In Indonesia, the country with 15,000 islands. Laos, Malaysia, and Myanmar, which was once Burma. And tea is the most popular drink in this country. Who doesn't love tea? <laughs> then we find the Philippines, East Timor, Thailand, where there are over 30 thousand Buddhist temples, Singapore, which is both a city and a country, and finally Vietnam, the country from which the world gets most of its cashew nuts and black pepper. In East Asia, the climate is subtropical, meaning they experience hot, humid summers and mild to chilly winters. Let's look at the countries found in East Asia. China, which has been the most populous country in the world for many centuries, but is now being overtaken by India. It is also where you can find the Great Wall of China, the longest structure ever built by hand. Then there's Japan, with Tokyo as its capital. The megacity of Tokyo Yokohama is the largest of the world's megacities. Japan is famous for the animation styles of anime and manga. Mongolia, which is a country considered to be landlocked, meaning it does not have access to an ocean. This country is located within China and Russia. Finally, in this region, we have the countries of North and South Korea. Taiwan is also found in East Asia. 
Both Chinese government in Beijing and the government of Taiwan say that there is only one China and Taiwan is part of it. But it has been governed independently since the 1950s. Moving on to South Asia, we find a variety of climates from hot, tropical monsoon in the south to hot but cooler in the north. The countries found in South Asia include Bangladesh, Bhutan, and India. A popular travel destination in this region, where many of the locals get around by bicycle. It is also home to the city of Delhi, one of the world's largest megacities because it suffers from overpopulation. The population of India has been growing fast for many years, and it is now becoming the most populous country in the world. Continuing in this region, we have the Maldives, which is the smallest country in Asia, both by size and population. It is also a popular vacation spot famous for its beaches. Nepal, where Mount Everest is, the highest mountain on earth, and Pakistan, home to the city of Karachi, Another one of the world's largest megacities, and Sri Lanka, formerly named Ceylon, has the world's largest sought-after and expensive blue sapphires. In the southwestern part of Asia, also called the Middle East, is where the summers are very hot and dry. It's where many of the world's largest deserts are found, like the Arabian Desert. This region is also where the lowest point on Earth, the Dead Sea, is located in. Much of the world's oil comes from the Middle East. The countries that make up the Middle East are Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Egypt, Georgia. Be careful, don't confuse this country with the state of Georgia in the USA. Iraq, Iran, Israel, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Oman, which is a country known as an important sea turtle breeding site that includes the green sea turtle, the leatherback sea turtle, and the loggerhead sea turtle. Then we're on to Palestine, a country that is not recognized by the U.S., but it is recognized as a country by other countries in the world. Next, we have Qatar, Saudi Arabia, a very dry country without rivers, known for three major deserts, including the popular Rub al-Khali, also known as the Empty Quarter. Finally, in this region, we have Syria, Turkey, the United Arab Emirates, and Yemen. The term for coffee, or mocha, originated from the city of Mocha in Yemen. And finally, let's look at Central Asia. Because Central Asia is surrounded by land and no large bodies of water, temperatures in this region change drastically from hot summers to cold winters. You can even find snow in some parts of Central Asia. These are the countries found in Central Asia. Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, where some of the most beautiful wool felt embroidery is done. Russia, the largest country in the world by area. Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and finally, Uzbekistan. What a spectacular continent. You now know so much about Asia. Is there a country that you want to learn more about? You can always do more research online or at your local library. In the meantime, you can practice what you learned in our fun online games and quizzes. And remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.